Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be back in the International E or International LTA 26 truck, the 2019 version by Frank Peru. Looks absolutely badass as hell. Today we're actually going to be using the day cab version just because um, we actually drive for the steep, the uh, whatever the hell that company is, Beef Grove or whatever, I can't remember what my own company name is. But we're driving for them today. Um, I pulled it out on the dirt road here just because I wanted to show you guys how bad this dirt road is going to be. I did this thing bobtailing and it was a pain in the ass. So I can imagine how it's going to be with two different trailers. Um, let's go ahead and start off the truck. Let's not waste any time in this today. Um, don't worry about that red thing in the uh, cab. I'm not sure what textures are missing or what doesn't work. So don't worry about that. But let's go ahead and get on out of here. I don't want to waste any time because we are heading up to Medford, so we probably have a short time. But we're going to be hauling 39,418 pounds of wood shavings to Burns at the ADM plant in Burns. Um, yeah, as you can see here, there's trees and everything that we have to like watch out for and all that fun stuff. Um, I do apologize if you do hear the wheel rattling and shaking. Um, that's just something I can't control because of the bumpy roads and whatnot. So if you guys do hear it, I do apologize. But as my buddy Pacific Pig actually uh, told me in the stream, um, when I ever I first used the wheel, it kind of adds immersion to the game. So I mean, it kind of does. I kind of see it with like the rattling of the cab and whatnot. So uh, I kind of do see it and whatnot. But yeah, I do apologize for the rattling if it does annoy you guys. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, these are some uh, dirt roads right here. Back roads in Oregon pain in the ass to get to here like I said I was just um, bobtailing out here and it was a uh, it was a very 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 fun trip and then now we actually have two trailers to watch out for full of wood shavings so this is gonna be even more fun we have like all these curves and we have trees we got to watch out for and everything as well on the ground so it's just a fun time but apparently you can do 65 through here which I'm not going to because I'm not gonna trust it at 65 25 is enough for me yeah, these back roads in Oregon. Good lord. Good, good, good lord. As you can see, the truck's kind of struggling getting up to gear and whatnot as well. There we go. Struggling getting up that. We were struggling getting up that hill. Making a left hand turn out of here into the road. actually seems a lot shorter than whenever I uh, um, pulled it through the first time bobtailing it seemed a lot shorter than whenever I bobtailed it but yeah guys hope you guys are having an awesome week so far I'm gonna have this video go live on Friday so hope you guys are having an awesome awesome weekend or have an awesome start to your weekend as well um, I actually on Saturday I'm actually going looking at different houses down south Illinois so uh, that'll be a fun trip. I'm going to try to have a video or two there and then possibly a stream at the end there if I uh, get home at a reasonable time. Because I don't know if I actually work Sunday or not. I, can, I haven't looked at my new schedule yet. I probably should do that here whenever I go back into work. So, But here we are back on almost regular main road. Make sure no one's coming. Got a DHL and a Crown Victoria. Nice. That's probably me and like that's probably me working at a job. I just have my Crown Vic in the parking lot, you know. <laughs> I kind of wish I did have like an actual gear shifter with the steering wheel, but it doesn't come with one unfortunately. So there's nothing I can really do about that right there. But um, yeah, I'm actually looking into buying a house here either this year. Hopefully by the end of this year, but we'll see about that. Maybe early next year as well. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. You guys can see the window back there with the day cab. We're struggling getting up these hills, so this is not going to be a good sign with this truck. And they said it's still a brand new truck, so they're probably still trying to work out kinks and whatnot with it. So We'll see. Jake brake on this truck is like really, really, really quiet. Make sure no one's coming. 
you know, we are good to go. I did end up purchasing uh, Track IR for this game, but for some reason, I don't know what it is. That truck almost took out into that guardrail. But for some reason, I don't know what it is, but um, I don't know if it's just extra lighting in my room or whatnot from because of the sun, but it won't pick up my um, thing, like the uh, sensor that I have to put on the cap. It won't pick it up, so I'm assuming it's got something to do with the extra lighting that I have in my room. That's a nice little town right here. I like this. I like this a lot. It's one of the towns that I would honestly live in, like, you know, really, really tiny towns, you know. There's actually one that I passed through last time I went down there to go look at a house. Um, it only had a population of eight people, so I'm like, ooh, maybe it's like a whole family of, like a whole family town or whatever, like generation to generation. I don't know. But that's like somewhere I would love to live at is like a tiny, tiny, tiny ass town. The only disadvantage is that you're like far away from like a Walmart or anything like that, but hey, if you're like me, I like small towns, so uh, we're just going to roll with small towns. But yeah, that should be exciting. My mom and I are going to go head out there and uh, take a look and see what we can, see what houses we find appealing to us and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah. Then again, I don't know if I want to like move into Illinois or if I want to move out of Illinois just because I'm sick and tired of Illinois' taxes and their stupid laws and all the random bullshit that Illinois is trying to uh, do that I think is completely retarded. But you guys can probably disagree with me, but my views are my views. Your views are your views, basically. But yeah, Illinois is doing a lot of stupid stuff, and uh, I just feel like I want to get out of this state. But then again, like the two jobs that I'm looking at to make a new career, law enforcement and railroad, are both in this state where I kind of want to do it out of. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, do I want to or do I not want to? It's just something that I need to like think about and take a couple days to think about and whatnot. So we're actually going to try to fucking get ahead of this big rig here. We want to do 25 because it's a tipping hazard. Just Jake break it up. Yeah, the Jake break sounds really, really, doesn't sound mean whatsoever. Whatsoever. Heading on to five. I think we have to actually go down into California and then head back back into Oregon. I believe that's the routing that it said it was supposed to take me on. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I believe that's the routing that it was taking me on. That's a nice trailer right there. I've never seen that trailer in game before. And it's gonna start raining. Of course. Trucks right two lanes only. Okay. Well, I'm in one of the right lanes so, I mean, that works, I guess. That might have been part of the new trailer packs I threw in because I threw in a couple different trailer uh packs and I wonder if they, these are part of it because I've never seen these trailers in my game before. It's a 60 mile an hour zone through here. We're going about 40 matching speeds with this guy going about 45, 47 ish. Clowen is then up on the 50. Now he's going to take off. Huh. I've never seen, like I said, I've never seen these trailers before and we're slowing down up here. I think we're clear to go onto this line here. Because I'm not waiting on these mofos to change lanes. But JB Hunt, one of the most like popular trucking companies out on the roads today. Or at least with the trailers. Trucks and railroads all use JB Hunt. But I noticed that uh, I found, saw a picture and read an article that Walmart is actually starting to use rail travel for their uh, trailers now to get their trailers across country which I thought was pretty interesting because I didn't think like Walmart or Target would ever actually honestly do that. So that was pretty interesting uh, read to me is that Walmart's starting to use rail travel or rail travel to um, haul their goods. So I'm thinking and they're hiring new truck drivers too so it's kind of like I don't know what to believe because I am thought maybe of applying as like a training trainee truck driver for Walmart or like anything and it's just kind of like okay well they're hiring but now they're also trying to use railroad the railroad to uh, haul their uh, products from one place to another so it's like I don't know if I should apply if I'm like guaranteed a job because if they go full railroad there might not be any trucks on the road but then that won't make any sense because you go to like the intermodal facility and whatnot 
and then you just kind of get sh it kind of gets shipped off into one of the uh, regular like stores and i understand you're probably going from like distribution to distribution but i don't know if those are actually going from like rail yard to or uh distribution to stores through train like if they're like let's say the warehouse is in indiana if they're taking it down to like new mexico or something i don't know if it's going from like distribution to distribution or if it's going from like distribution to store and that within that state so like they haul it from New Mexico to Indiana, the one distribution center, and then the truck drivers for Walmart in Indiana or in Indiana are just waiting at the docks to pick up their trailers and whatnot. I don't know if that's how it's going to work out. They didn't really explain much in the article, but it's just kind of said that they're using rail travel. So I mean, it, I mean I I feel like it's kind of cool because I mean UPS, FedEx have done it in the past. JB Hunt does it. Swift has done it, so I mean, I don't, I don't see why Walmart wouldn't do it. Then again, I just don't feel like, I don't know how it will honestly work out, since like, majority of the stores you need truck access because the train can't drop it off. So I don't know if it's more convenient or not, because I thought maybe like truck drivers would be more convenient. But yeah, I understand it'll probably take uh, less time by rail than it will by truck. But then again, it's just kind of the same thing, like. Is it more convenient? Is it cheaper to do it that way? So you have less truck drivers, but then you're hiring truck drivers. So it's like, I don't know what their like motive is for it. But I just thought that'd be a pretty cool feature. And of course, we have to go into the way station. Of course, we have to go into the way station, wherever the way station even is. Ah, there it is. Next right. Okay, perfect. Just Jake break it down. Ramp is 35. We're going 45. Turn on the uh, one weighing is right here. And look at that. We got two Schneider trucks back to back. So I wonder if this has to be a new trailer pack definitely has to be a, a new trailer pack because I don't recall those ever being in my game. Looks like DOT got a truck there. Going to pass the inspection or 80,862 pounds. That works for me. Thank you for my cooperation. You're welcome. It's like the uh, oh, police. Not highway patrol. Just random police unit caught them. That's weird. There's that one truck that we probably um, passed. Okay, that car, yeah, that car's gonna let us go, it looks like. Appreciate it. So we're down to a 50 mile an hour zone, probably back in California by now. That's probably why we had to stop at the way station was because of uh, entering California. But damn, that lightning was nice. I've never seen that in this game before. I like that. So now we're back up to a 60. Oh, man, we're actually getting off at this exit. So, oh, no, that's a curve. That's a curve. Never mind. I thought that was an exit for a second, but it's just a curve. Yeah, but see, there's a Schneider truck right there that I've never seen in. But, damn, that lightning is bright. They must have upped something with the rain. That actually looks really, really nice. But there is road construction, so God knows what I'm going to be heading myself into. Oh, cool. So I'm actually in the pro proper lane this time. Awesome. Road work ahead, slowing down to a 55. I can't even see my speedometer half the time, even with the dials up. Jesus Christ, I don't like when people do that. They just like stop in the middle of the freaking freeway. I don't like when they do that. It's not very realistic at all. But I feel like with the wheel, it's a lot easier to control than when you're, um, just using a controller so like I probably could have not done that with a controller with the wheel it made it a lot easier but yeah I just don't like it when they stop in the middle of the fucking freeway it doesn't make any sense I got a flatbed I like that flatbed though I like the green color it's got going on that thing looks pretty sweet and they got a day cab at the front of it I like that I like that a lot and a rest area coming up not for us though we're just going to keep on trucking until we can't truck no more. We'll get back on the right line after we clear that uh, vehicle. It's kind of hard to see him with the rain. But it looks like he might have actually gone to the rest area. So, Yeah, guys. Expect more uh, America Truck Simulator videos coming on the channel. Expect more train sim. More 
other variety type games on the channel. Um, still going to be doing like the whole LSPDFR type thing, but God knows how long and how much I'll be doing of it since that game seems to frustrate me more than it does I enjoy playing it. So we'll see. We'll see about that one. I don't really know, but uh, like I said, we'll see. We shall see. Damn, they really did up the uh, storms on this because I don't remember the lightning ever doing that, and that just looks pretty badass. Unless I'm just not. Unless I'm just uh, late to the update, which I believe it. Which I do believe it. I should probably start reading like update logs a lot more and whatnot. I never really read update logs. I just kind of put it in and then say like, "There's CSX intermodal." So yeah, this is this is a new trailer pack that I threw in because I don't remember this ever. There's a lot of intermodal trucks on the road, though. Maybe I should throw in a couple different trailer packs for this game, just because um, I realize that I don't have as many trailers, so you're basically just seeing like all the default trailers and whatnot. So I feel like I should just throw in more games, because as you can see, here's another intermodal trailer. So I feel like these are taking over. Man, it's stormy and rainy. Stormy, stormy, stormy and rainy night. I love a rainy night. Where's gonna be a left lane hog right now? <laughs> I guess, I'm glad we don't have to get off in one of these exits. That would have been pissed. But yeah, we're heading up north to Portland right now. I don't believe we have too much farther to go. 260 something miles. So yeah, not not too far. To you go? But I love that green trailer though. That thing looks nice. So that's not a flatbed. That's the intermodal trailer. I thought it was like a flatbed trailer. So that's the intermodal trailer. So it looks like the rain has stopped. Somewhat. There's a Tesla trailer just up there. So we're going about 65 miles an hour and a 55. But I don't really care. Actually I should probably like slow down. A little bit to 60 at least we're on 5 north to Portland alright here we go here we go alright 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 but yeah I'm actually also looking into trying to find a brand new job because the job I have now is fucking it's more stressful than anything I understand being a manager is supposed to be stressful like not really stressful stressful but it's supposed to weigh in a couple like some stress into your life but the amount of stress that I get at this job and I will actually probably have a video out with the job on um, whenever I quit and have like a little corporate like a little video and tithing corporate and whatnot out whenever I do quit um but yeah the amount of stress that I have at this job just isn't worth it anymore honestly cuz you have my manager who went to like a training course up in Chicago um apparently whatever they told him at that training class was wrong so it's like I don't understand how you could bring pay someone to go to training and yet the training be wrong cuz that makes no fucking sense whatsoever at, uh, that makes no sense at all. Like a left here. So everything they taught him was wrong. So it's like, okay, well, what's the right way? And then you have like your... We, we have two different store managers that used to work. Uh, they used to be store managers, but then they decided to step down. One saying one thing. One saying another thing. And then you have your uh, district manager. Who's saying another thing. The district manager in training who's saying another thing and then you have your regional manager saying something else then it's like well who the fuck do I believe then because everyone's saying something different and it's just like I don't know what to do because apparently I was doing stuff that you'd think like normal managers would do like take out the trash and whatnot um do like the defectives like stuff that's broken and whatnot and then I got threatened to get written up because I was doing that stuff and I had no idea I wasn't supposed to because that whatever my buddy the manager learned at his class said basically I can do everything except like hire fire and um apparently that's wrong 
So everything they taught him was wrong, and it's like, well, what the fuck do you want me to do then? Because you're going to write me up if I for doing it, yet I had no idea I wasn't supposed to. Because they do have this thing called SOP, which is like your standard operating procedures. But that's not really a thing to, uh, it wasn't part of the training to actually read through. And it's like fucking 594 pages. So, um, it wasn't something that I was supposed to, like, read through. So I was expecting, okay, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. But then again, it's just like, well, what the hell do you want me to do? Because I'm not going to sit here and fucking get written up on doing stuff that I didn't even know I was supposed to be doing. And it's just, it's, everyone says something different about everything. And it's just like, you don't know who to believe anymore. Um, and it's just random, random bullshit that, uh, I really don't want to be dealing with anymore. So I'm like legit trying to find like a different job and whatnot. Maybe like a normal, not nine to five, but like somewhere where I can be like home on weekends. And I just work Monday to Friday, be home on weekends, etc. Something like that. So I feel like that'd be more beneficial for me. Then again... I also want to uh, try to pursue something in like railroading as well if they ever open up their applications again. Same thing with policing. So it's just like trying to find something to hold me over until then. Um, looking at like different truck driving jobs um, like local where you'll do that basically. They'll train you to get your CDL and uh, yeah, like it's local so you'll be home just about maybe every other night or something as well as like different um, like try to get a forklift operator job get a forklift license all that fun stuff trying to find something along those lines something that actually pays good but then again also that i can try to be home on weekends and not have to worry about anything kind of sort of thing so but yeah it's been a struggle i thought this job would be like a perfect getaway from target but then i realized that like all retail is the same thing you're gonna get bitched at for whatever you're gonna get bitched at if you do it, you're gonna get bitched at if you don't. Our truck is really struggling for some reason. I don't understand why. Uh oh. Oh, okay, I thought my game just froze for a second. I was like, what the hell? I don't know why we're struggling. We're going, I don't even know how much we're going. I can't even see my speedometer. We're going 30 miles an hour. So we were just struggling up a hill. Deep Grove, that's the company we work for. Deep Grove. Deep, Deep Grove is what who we work for. Yeah, as you can see, you can barely see where the dials are for like the speedometer and whatnot. Unless it like covers a number, then you can kind of see it. But yeah, it's a, that's a struggle. I wish they would have made the, the uh, dials light. Or not the dials, but the uh, speedometer and whatnot light up. But, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. Here we go. 65 miles an hour. Want to be at 55 because we are on a 55 mile an hour stretch of road. Don't have my high beams on anymore like I did. We're on Route 20 now. Truck sounds really quiet though, or it's like we're idling. There we go, that, that sounds better. Deer crossing, not what I wanted to see. That is legit, not what I wanted to see was a deer crossing. But yeah, this truck is still not available just yet. It's still a uh, paid beta type thing, so you pay the guy 15 bucks. And um, yeah. But yeah, it's still a paid beta. It should be released soon, and there's a fucking... Mm. Okay, maybe I should start slowing down. Start slowing down. I'll start slowing down, I guess. Fucking troopers, man. Always, always, always getting in my way. Always, always, always. Whenever I'm trying to enjoy, have fun trucking, you know, they decide they want to come in and do some stuff but then again I have to stop and get some fuel so some diesel so we're going 35 okay I don't know who has a stop sign because I don't have a stop sign either y'all so it's like what the fuck 
Looks like there's a diesel pump right here, here on the right. So we'll head up over there. We'll get some. We'll get some diesel. And uh, yeah, fill up because we're almost at a quarter tank, I believe, or a little bit less than a quarter tank. So uh, they probably don't want a uh, Jake break in the city. So, and of course it's the fucking middle one. Oh no, they have one on the they have one on the side here. Want to make sure we don't clear that sign. There we go. Perfect. Parking brake on. Stop that. Hit enter. Three hundred and forty-nine dollars for one hundred and two gallons. Jesus Christ. Look at our little uh, things right there. Look at that. I like that. I love the windows that they have on the back of day cabs. I had the wrong blinker on. Oh well. We're all filled up now. Ready to get back on the road. What I think I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to give this truck to one of my um, company drivers. And then I'm going to end up... Here's another one. It's just intersection no stop sign no nothing what the fuck we're heading to burns i think or no medford we're heading or we, i don't even know where we're heading anymore i think we're heading to medford burns okay so i was right burns i thought I don't, we came from medford that's right okay i'm i'm confused I, i'm confused a lot with this game sometimes <laughs> but yeah so we filled up we're all good to go um like i said i think i'm gonna give this uh truck to one of my company drivers and then I'm going to go ahead and get another truck for the next episode. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know which one I want to do yet. But it looks like we're turning up over here. Which it's a really, really short distance to turn. And for me to stop at the exact same time. Oh god, how you doing? And of course, it would not be a uh, Adrian ATS video without getting into a wreck. So, Yeah, 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 yeah. That was great. But that's what it says. It just said Burns, um, a left turn, and that was not enough time to give me a, uh, not enough time to give me stopping distance to make that left turn without going into the intersection. So it's like, I don't know what you want me to do, and then next thing you know, that dude decided he wanted to go, so it's like, plus it doesn't give you, like, a stop sign or anything, it's just kind of like, here you go, so I didn't even know what the hell I was supposed to do. And it's just like, what the hell? Sometimes, sometimes this game frustrates me a little bit, but... Wouldn't be a Yo Adrian one without a wreck, that's for sure. That is for sure. We got a stoplight coming up. So I'm going to start slowing down for that. Because God knows where it even is. I don't even see a stoplight. I don't even see I don't even see a stoplight anywhere. That's the only thing. <laughs> I unless there's supposed to be stoplights, but there's not. I feel like these are supposed to have like stop signs or stoplights or something. But well, I'm assuming that's what's supposed to be there, but there's not. So, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Really, really, really don't know. Just want to roll some coal like right, right behind this fucking dude. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of do. <laughs> but then there's barely like any exhaust in these trucks anyway, so it doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Everyone's speeding up. They got someone on the side of the road. Up ahead. You get two vehicles or one. One vehicle, okay. Dude's got an issue. This was LSPDFR. I'd like stop, turn around, see what's going on, but there, nothing, nothing to do there. I ain't gonna stop the semi for a broken down vehicle. But yeah, as I was saying, like, um, I don't even remember what I was saying. 
But yeah, I want to try to get a new truck in for the next video. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Kind of want to do that logging truck thing. But then again, I also kind of want to do my uh, target stories part 2 so I can just be done with that video. Because I've been putting it off for a while now. I think the last one I did was like 5-6 months ago, which... Hard to believe it was 5-6 months ago. But right, then again, time does fly. I realize that time does fly a lot. Let's start slowing down here. Looks like they got him in the middle of the road. That ain't good. Definitely not good. It's not safe to be in between the two cruisers like that. But, I mean, this is ATS, so it's whatever. You can't really tell them anything. And we're going, like, about 50 in a 65 because traffic, for some reason, wants to be stupid. I don't understand why you keep brake checking me, dude. You have plenty of distance between your car and theirs, so I don't understand why you have to keep brake checking. It has plenty of distance between the two vehicles. If you want to pass, you can pass. Good lord, I'll stay behind the truck. Good god, man. I, I don't understand. I really don't. <laughs> it's like he keeps gaining distance and then he keeps losing distance. So, reduced speed ahead. Reduce it to what? 45? 35? 45. That's what we're going. So, we're good there. I want to keep my distance from the guy just because it's kind of... Uh, irritating to me that uh he keeps like brake checking not brake checking checking but like he's like slowing down and he's speeding up and he's slowing down it's just an inconvenience to me but look at those trucks right there that looks nice at the truck stop so yeah i'm just gonna keep my distance from the guy yeah i don't know what truck i want to end up doing next if i do do the re the target stories part two I don't know if I want to do a Kenworth or a Peterbilt, but I'm going to see what I haven't done in a while, because I know I did the Kenworth 990, so I might try to do a Peterbilt, because I don't think I've done a Peterbilt in a long time. Then again, like, I don't know what I'll, but then again, like, I don't know. I want might want to go back to the Mac Anthem as well, because there's a lot of nice trucks, but I also want to use the W990 again. But I don't know if that's going to cause my, uh, OB, or my Streamlabs to, like, lag like the last one did. And I don't understand why, because apparently when I'm using this truck, it works just fine. So I don't know if that Kenworth is just big or what, but I, I don't see why that would just cause Streamlabs to uh, um, lag, not the game. The game was fine, the Streamlabs was lagging, so I don't know. I don't know. But then again, I do want to stream some more ATS as well. Um, probably do that here soon as well. So yeah, it's just, um, it's just, uh... Just a busy time in my life right now. Just never stops. Nothing. <laughs> life never stops. That's why I keep doing videos is because it's easier. And again, I feel like streams would be a lot easier because you don't have to sit there and edit. But I don't know. I like editing. A lot of people hate it, but I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. We ain't going to stop for no sleep anywhere. Lake views that way. So I feel like we're coming up on burns, honestly. Uh, I didn't even see it. Uh, yeah, 44 miles. So, yeah, we're coming up real close. We kind of drove through the night there through Oregon, which is nice. Um, I'm still going to try to go explore, like, all the other areas that I haven't yet in Oregon. 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 So, uh, but I, cause I feel like we come out here more often than I want to. And then I kind of do want to throw in the Coast-to-Coast uh, -coast mod. But then again, I kind of want to wait till after Washington comes out to throw that in. Just because I want to do explore Washington without having to go like coast to coast, so I know with that mod, it's just going to give you a lot of things elsewhere. So then again, the last time I tried installing it, um, I got out to a certain point and then just kind of went through the map. So I don't know, I don't know. But damn, these lights are really bright. Holy shit! So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. But then now again, these cars, that truck is way far up ahead and these cars are still going slow so I mean it's like I don't know I, I really don't but oh well oh well 
Now it's got to be following these bad boys until my 40-something, uh, 30-something miles comes up. We're entering Burns now. So, not too far up ahead. As you can see, I don't know what lane we're technically supposed to be in, but I'm just going to stay in this luff line. Because we're taking this to ADM. I don't understand what ADM needs wood shavings for, but I guess they do. But I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna question it. Just maybe they need something, or they're doing something with wood shavings. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Unless they're gonna deliver them by rail, which then makes sense. They just deliver it up to the plant, and then they go deliver it by rail somewhere. I mean, that's a possibility. So I mean, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what half the stuff they're using it for. I just deliver it. See a sex intermodal. Got some logging trailers right there. Thirty-five, but I want to try to clear this vehicle just in case. We, oh, we, got, we make a left. We make a left, so we're good. We're good. Make a left on this road. It looks like so we'll start breaking for that. Yeah, but I feel like there should be. Yeah, as you can see there, there's a floating sign. So I'm assuming there's supposed to be some stoplights here, but either my game is broken or something. So I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Is he going to let me go? Okay, I guess he's going to let me go. I I don't know. There, I feel like there's supposed to be stop, stoplights there, but they're broken. Either an update broke it or something. I don't know. Or one of the mods I threw in might have broken it. I don't know. I really don't. It's just kind of like we have just... It's like a madhouse, you know? Making a left up here. We'll Jake break it for that. Yeah, very, 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 very quiet Jake break. Very quiet. We're going back on dirt roads out to the ADM plant. Back in the boat. We're going back in the boonies. We don't want to take out the stop sign. Going back in the boonies. Look at those tractors right there. I don't know what blue and orange means, but that's like an Illini type thing or blue and red. Look at those tractors. They should have made them green and yellow. That's all I'm going to say. They should have made them green and yellow. Here we go. Coming up, coming up, coming up. I want to take this thing super, super slow just because of it being a back road. And I'm not trying to tilt my um, trailers on this back road because it could take forever for help to get back here. Yeah, I love the back road driving of Oregon on this. I, I love it. I like it. It's different. It's not something you'd normally see in ATS. So I really do like it. But there's the ADM plant, but we're not going that way. I thought... Okay, where are we going then? Oh, we're going straight ahead. So maybe AD, maybe that's like the headquarters or like the home office. And then this entire thing is the plant. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out though. We will find out. Like I said, I do apologize for all the rattling, but damn, this is a nice looking plant. They want it right there. We'll give it to them right there. Turn on our flashers. So this is a, uh, not, this is a grain plant. Okay. That makes sense. So it's like a grain, like, type plant. That makes sense. I thought it'd be like a chemical plant like ADM mostly is, but I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Here we go. Turn that parking brake on. Shift you to neutral. Hit T to drop the trailer. Boom. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We were late. I'm going to say we were late. But oh well. Eight, we lost $8,000 on that for being late. But that's because I started the episode before and then I completely um, just scrapped it and then started it up again. But oh well, we were late a little bit, but it's all good. Made $13,393, 578 XP. 
not the worst thing in the world. But that is going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already and you do enjoy the content. Make sure you follow me on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I believe my Snapchat's in there. Discord, join the server as well. It's always a fun time in there. And I'll catch you guys here on the next one. Peace out, everyone.